It was a dark and stormy night. The best time to catch the most fish. Through the chaos, the fishermen trudged along the long, muddy path to the sweet relief of the dock. The ocean was heaving violently as the torrential wind and rain crashed down powerfully on the frail, old man. He struggled against the might of the hurricane's force until it became too much to bear. A wave crashed over him and suddenly he decided to turn back and he ambled quickly home to his pitiful, purulent, fish-smelling shack. The gale force winds were proving to be beyond his capacity to endure. His joints ached horribly underneath his many layers of heavy clothing, which were all soaked through, chilling his ancient bones. The cliffside along which he was now walking towered many hundreds of feet above the churning abyss of the sea. Thunder crashed and wind howled as the man began his ascent up the old staircase he had built with his father as a child. The dilapidated wood was slimy and slippery, and as the weary, aged man removed his fishing boot from the step, he could feel his foot slip out from under him. He lost his balance, and his leg broke in two places, spurting fountains of scarlet, exposing the bone. His body suddenly fell to the bottom of the stairs, bouncing like a basketball. Blood spurted from his tattered carcass as it impacted on the last step of the stairway, and his body bounced cleanly over the cliffside and began hurtling towards the jagged rocks below. In midair, as he was falling, he was struck by an unimaginably powerful bolt of some sort of supernatural, spiritual, religious lightning, and the corpse exploded into millions upon billions of minuscule chunks of bloody flesh and tiny bits of brain and bone. The storm raged on and soon washed away all evidence that anything had ever happened, and the clouds parted as God laughed emptiness into existence.